Hi everyone. Um, in this video, I'm just asking the question, which is the best Pomodoro timer available on uh, Linux, or in my case, um, on Ubuntu? And um, the reason I'm asking that question is, first, um, I'm using the Pomodoro technique myself. You might ask, huh? What What is the Pomodoro technique? Um, you, you can look it up on, on Wikipedia. Um, so Pomodoro Wikipedia. Um, it's a it's a time time management um, technique developed by um, an Italian psychologist. And um, so basically, what you're doing is you're working for um, 25 minutes, just focused and concentrated without any interruption, and then you're taking a five minutes break. That's what you're doing four times, and then you get a long break of 15 minutes. And afterwards, you're, again, you're switching back to um, the 25 minutes rhythm with a five minutes break and so on. Um, so it's a very simple scheme. Um, and for some people, it's, it's just very effective. And I'm, I'm a heavy um, Chromium, or I mean, you can also say like Chromium, the open source equivalent of Chrome. Um, I'm a heavy user of that. And um, I use a couple of extensions and apps and, and what came naturally to me was to look for Pomodoro um, in the Chrome Web Store and there is a couple, really dozens of apps and extensions. Um, so an extension usually puts the Pomodoro timer um, on into the bar here. So as you can see here, it's added now and now the timer is running. Um, I can't you know, even stop it. Okay. <laughs> But um, so that's one option to have it as integrated into your Chrome browser. But sometimes I'm doing also things um, outside of Chrome. And then I just like to see you um, at least, yeah, the time. I mean, how, how, how am I progressing? So this extension button is, is not really my taste. And then I felt like mm, maybe there are some apps. And indeed, there are some, some, there are some apps. Um, so let's filter for one one that I found um, just recently, I think it was that one. Oh yeah, it was that one. Um, so Pomodoro, Pomodoro more. And once you add an app, so a Pomodoro app, Chrome app, um, it's actually different from an extension, which is just shown up here, but um, it has a separate app window and it comes with its own icon. You can lock it to a um, to your launcher. Um, so it, it's much more versatile and feels like much more like a native app for, for Linux or Ubuntu. Um, but the problem is once, once you start the timer, I mean, you, it, it's all great. You get a nice notification and so on. You see, you have a visual. Um, but once you start switching windows, so, which I'm a heavy user of because, as you can see, I'm, I'm just using a lot of windows and apps at the same time. Maybe I should change my, my workflow, but at least it's just annoying me to have that Pomodoro as an active, highlighted, selected window. I mean, I would just love to have it minimized somewhere, um, but I, I cannot really. I mean, as you see, even if I click on minimize here, it still stays in this drawer, and I, I just don't like that. I, I, I want to have it less distract, less destructive. Um, and, and that's basically the case for all of these Chrome apps. They cannot really minimize, be minimized, for example, to the app indicator um, positions here, up, up there. So mm, again, not really an option. Let's just uninstall it. I don't like it. Um, and what I then found was one, which is currently my favorite, and it's it's open source, it's hosted on GitHub, it's called Tomate. Um, and um, it's it's available, I mean, it only, at the moment, it only says 14.4, says 14.10, 14, but I just um, updated the, the instructions, and um, the developer just needs to merge my updates and include them, because it perfectly runs on what I'm using is Ubuntu 15.04, I think. So it, it runs perfectly. And now look at this big example, um, advantage. So it first of all, it shows you some basic information, what you might want to know. I, uh, I've been running six Pomodoros today already. 
And now it's apparently time for a short break. Okay, <laughs> so let's take this short break, go take a coffee. So I get my notifications, um, which is, as of now, you would say, well, that's basically what the Chrome app did as well. But now comes a big advantage. If I would just like leave it here, yes, of course, it would um, again show up in the selection drawer and it, I would by accident maybe sometimes get back to that window, which I don't even want to. I mean, I just want to have the timer running, but I don't want this active window. So what I can do is I just close it. But closing it moves the app into the tray indicator. And this is really, honestly, this is great. As you can see, you see how the timer is progressing, but it's just not in your way. It's 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 so yes the the icon still stays in in the uh, unity um dock so it's still an icon here and actually if you if you look closer um you see how it's progressing um but it's it's outside of my here it's it's less destructive i mean i don't see it anymore this is um this is just exactly what i wanted so if you've been looking for a very um a very good implementation of a Pomodoro timer, which just doesn't stay in your way, and you happen to use Linux, which of course you should, um, then seriously give Tomate a try. I, I, for me at the moment, it's it's the best um, Pomodoro and the most simple Pomodoro implementation I found so far. So thanks for thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or suggestions, just leave a comment. Thank you.